is, can I do this video please? All right, y'all, so came out here to check on the cows, and uh, obviously I've got cows all around me, um, and uh, I've had to redo the video now a couple times because they were coming up and licking me while I was trying to, to film this, but uh, uh, we have very, very friendly, uh, especially our heifers are just really, really friendly, and and um, we, have, we have great cows, great temperament, so, and that's what we breed for. But, uh, but I want to talk a little bit about shortages, because this seems to be the year of shortages, and now it's just getting to the point to where it's comical. Um, we just have shortage after shortage after shortage, and uh, it's, it's not, getting, not getting any better. Um, you know, we've seen the baby formula shortage, which is a severe issue. Now we've got a shortage on feminine hygiene products, and uh, that, that one, um, other ways around it, yeah. I mean, people have been dealing with Adam for thousands of years, but um, as we become dependent on them and used to them, um, it is also, you know, it, it gets to the point of being unsanitary to not have them. And so when you start hearing in the shortages, it gets worse because there's people that exacerbate the shortages by going and, and buying in a mad rush and stocking up. And now you've got Amazon limiting uh, the amount of toiletries you can buy, right? So they limit, they're limiting, you know, the, the amount of deodorant, the amount of toothpaste, uh, all that stuff. So what that tells you is basically we're, we're, we see if you have if you ever read the book 1984 right they they're always scrounging for stuff because this, this, this utopian society doesn't work they're always scrounging for uh razors i remember the razors were the big thing in the book and uh they can't find these kind of they, they have their basic necessities covered right they have food um but they but it may not be good food and they have they have their necessities but this the razor that he's using in the book was like three or four weeks old so it's dull it's pulling at his hair uh, Sorry, <laughs> these cows guys are just really curious. So, 1984, they're they're scrounging for razors, and uh, they 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 can't seem to uh, can't seem to get these kind of luxuries in, right? Which is what we're kind of seeing happening, right? We're seeing things that are like 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 tampons and and pads that are. We, they become a necessity in our current society, but really, when you look at historically, they're they're a nicety. They're not a necessity. They're a nicety, and and we treat them as a necessity. But um, and and, uh, and so we, we're starting to see these these toiletry items uh, becoming harder to get, and they're becoming more expensive. Um, and so now is the time to, it, which by the way, as far as niceties goes, toilet paper is a nicety. Remember that toilet paper is not required. We haven't had it for thousands of years. It's only a recent thing, right? So keep that in the back of your mind that when niceties become um, uh, obsolete and hard to find, that's one that we'll end up going to. So, uh, and, and they'll find a way to get some of it, but it may not be what you like. It may end up being like that gas station stuff that uh, is just not exactly the most comfortable, let's put it that way. Um, so, so what we're seeing then is we're seeing this, these, these toiletries and these niceties, things that are absolutely not necessities, um, becoming harder and harder to find. And it started with the baby formula. And we think of baby formula, again, as a necessity, but it's really not. We haven't, we haven't had it for the last 10,000 years. We've had it for the last 100 years. Um, and so we dealt without it before. We dealt without it by supplementing things like goat's milk and cow's milk and using wet nurses and things like that uh, that we just don't use anymore and uh, that we don't have in our current society. But those things make it to where we can actually um, uh, function a little bit better and a little bit more efficiently. That's kind of the idea behind them. So these dang cows, y'all. So um, what we want to do is we want to make sure that we have some stockpiled, right? So now is the time, if you don't already have a good year's worth on hand, uh, now is the time to be looking at that. How do you get um, more than what you have um, without hoarding? Buy a little bit at a time, a little bit extra. Don't go out and don't, don't fill up the... Uh, your Amazon cart with a two years worth of toothpaste uh, because you're making it harder on other people. But now is probably the time to go ahead and say, okay, well, if I don't have any, I'm going to get three months. Or if I have some, get a little bit more. Um, and, and again, toothpaste is a nicety because we can supplement that with things like baking soda and things like that, right? So, uh, or, or, you know, back in the, uh, the Roman Empire, I remember reading one time that they used to use uh, pieces of cloth and they'd soak them in salt water and scrub their teeth and their mouth out with that. Um, and uh, so there, there are there are supplements for that. That is just what we have become accustomed to. So realize that those things are are going away uh, and going to become harder and harder to get. And so that's the way that they um, 
that's the way that we bring in things like socialism, right? That's the way that we that we bring these things to fruition is by making it harder and harder for the things that we enjoy, uh, the things that now somebody can promise us. You know, having toothpaste will become a human right. Having toilet paper will become a human right. Uh, having having tampons and maxi pads will become a human right. And um, you know, the fact is, is that those aren't human rights. Um, rights are not something that you can force somebody else's labor to give you. That is not a human right. Um, a right is something that nobody uh, ethically or morally should be able to take from you. That's the difference. And because we've become accustomed to it, it's going to be one of those things that's harder for us to be without and that, uh, that you will want to have and that you'll trade a vote for, right? You'll trade, you'll trade something, you'll trade a little bit of freedom, a little bit of security so that you can have those comfort items. Um, get through that, start researching what alternatives are out there, start getting supplies up, to, uh, 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 up. but again, I'm only going to have a year's worth of toothpaste on hand. I'm not going to have 40 years worth of toothpaste on hand. It's not practical. I'm hoping that I don't have to resort, result to using cloth soaked in salt water to scrub my teeth with, uh, but we certainly can, and we have those options. So um, keep that in mind, guys, that you know it's not practical to store up for an eternity, uh, but it's more practical to know how to replenish that for an eternity, um, and that's why the knowledge is, is more important almost than the, uh, than the item itself. So I got to get out of here, y'all. These cows are driving me crazy, and then uh, they're bringing with them the flies, and so um, we don't have a lot of flies here, thankfully, but, uh, but they do always bring some with them. So we'll talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching. Remember, like and subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so, and I will see y'all tomorrow morning. <laughs> now we just kind of laugh at it and uh <laughs> y'all i can't focus what are you licking me she's just licking me <laughs>